What's up guys? Welcome back to Same Mojo Homestead. I am walking through the garden, kind of seeing what needs to be picked. I've got some amazing looking jalapenos right now, but uh, just kind of checking our other pepper plants. Wanted to share with you guys our part two of the Farm Where You Live event that we were at this weekend. Uh, Cass got the opportunity to sit down with Ariana, and she was generous enough to kind of just talk through and share a lot of the knowledge that she has. The more that I've kind of getting into this week and able to sort of process through just this weekend and how much fun we had. I realized I think one of my greatest takeaways from the farm where you live was the new friendships and just broadening our community. And I know that kind of sounds cliche, but we really did meet a lot of great people, which is why we want to break it all up and make several videos featuring all of those wonderful people, the knowledge they have and all of that. So we do have two more going up after this one. One of them will be focusing on sort of a hands-on permaculture school, more or less. And then also talking to two of the vendors that were there, uh, one of which we know, one of which we got to meet for the first time that makes some amazing food. So make sure you catch those. But for now, let's go ahead and get to Aubriana. to be right next to her with our vendor table. We've been chatting the whole time, we've really gotten to know each other, which has been really fun. And I just wanted to have her come and just tell us what she does and how she got into it. Good. Hi, I'm Aubrey Anna. I'm from Anderson, South Carolina. And I used to work health care, and then I realized it wasn't for me anymore, and I wanted to help people treat their diseases, not just the symptoms of these diseases and ailments, and everyday things that we can grow ourselves to treat these things and not have to rely on a bigger system that doesn't really care about our well-being. Um, so the one thing that I do for that is the tinctures that I make. I grow the herbs that I'm making the tinctures into and I make sure that I'm doing blends that work well with each other and can really pair. It's crazy how something that is growing in nature, even just natively, like purple dead nettle can just help you with something. Like in the fall, purple dead nettle comes up and also in the fall we get sick and we get chills and there's this purple dead nettle to come help you with those chills that you're getting. And it's just like nature's giving us all these things that we need and we're mowing them and we're spraying them because we're being told that these are weeds, we don't want these in our yard. Yeah, but really it's medicine that we're just overlooking. Yes, yes. So yeah, that's why. I want you to come to my property and be like, <laughs> you can use that, you can use this. Oh like, I've been like looking for someone yes. to come and help me figure this out. No, if I go to someone's is. house, I'm like, did you see what you got cleavers growing in your yard? And they're like, cleavers. I'm like, if you want to lose some weight, eat some cleavers. It's a diabetic. That's awesome. I love it. Yeah, That's so awesome. much fun. There's so much. I think there's so much that we don't know that we should know about what is going on. Yeah. How much it can help us. Yes. And if the information was out there more, yes. like, if more people could understand it and then learn themselves how to use it. Yes. So then we can. We're not relying on something that's yes. really not in our best interest. Right. Yeah. So do you have any sources that you recommend? Like, I've been trying to learn this stuff for a long time, and it is hard because you don't want to, like, kill some, your, someone trying to, like, yeah. help them medicinally, yeah. you know? Like, you want to use wisdom, Yeah, it's hard to base it on a picture. So do you have any good resources? Oh my gosh. So I have, like, an idol of herbalism. <laughs> yeah. She is, like, the queen to me, and if yeah. I ever met her, I would lose it. But it's Rosemary Gladstar, <laughs> okay. and she has so many great books. And okay. it's talking... Most of her books have like safe herbs oh, okay. that are good and you really can't go wrong with them. Okay. And then she'll do recipes in there oh, cool. and she'll talk about like the different ratios and you know the constituents behind the herbs and what why those constituents help these things. Yeah. And once you get that down, like okay, so this has tannins in it, so if 
this has to get in there. It's going to help this. And yeah. So yeah, once you get those constituents down and you learn these plans, it's just like it clicks and you're like, wow. And you can just walk out into your front yard and go grab something for a headache, like yeah. lemon balm. Yeah. If I get a headache coming on, I just go right outside and grab some lemon balm yeah. and make a tea out of it. Yeah. And then boom, my headache is gone. I'm not taking Tylenol. I'm not putting something that's hurting something else in my body. Right. So that's what I love about herbal medicine is that when you're using it, you're not hurting anything else in there. It's necessary. Yeah. The oregano yeah. as like an antibiotic. But Instead of wiping out all of your gut health, right. you can do it naturally right. and keep your gut health that you need. Yes, yes, yes you have to have them. Yes. Yeah. Which is also why I love the sourdough because yeah. gut health is so important. And it's, if your gut isn't right, then nothing else is going to be right. It's like the center of your universe as like a so yeah, the sourdough. So I love bread. So when I eat bread, I don't feel super bad about it. But my gut health is better. Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. I think there's so much we can learn from what is around us. Like we just started doing pine needle tea when we were sick, and I felt like so earthy and great. And I'm like, I want to be empowered. I want to be more empowered. Yeah, it's such an empowering thing when you have that knowledge. Yes. And you know, like you just, yeah. it is so empowering. And another empowering like herb for me would be like rosemary and tulsi. Yeah. Um, just especially tulsi. It, it's been said that it just like makes the body whole. And I feel like a lot of people need that because yeah. your body's just not working as a whole. You're not thinking about it as a whole. You're yeah. thinking about like, oh, like I have a headache. I need to treat that. But like, think about your whole body. You're like, what's going on to create that headache? Did you need something like that's causing that? Is it stress? Like. And if it's stressed, then you can so start. The lemon balm is great for stress too. So while you're relieving your headache, you're also reducing those stress levels. Lemon balm is so full of vitamins, and it's great to take every day. So I love it. We mainly use it for tea. Yeah. Do you eat it? I do. You, I'll, you can put it in salads. Oh, okay. Ooh, I love it in salads. Um, my husband says it smells like Fruit Loops. <laughs> so. <laughs> Literally anything yeah. I cook, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. let's reduce some stress in this house. Another thing that most people aren't aware of with our bodies and like why we have so many ailments is inflammation and like what's causing that inflammation and then all the stuff that we're putting in there that's processed and it's, it's irritating our, the lining of our intestines and our gut. And yeah, herbs, my best friend. Do you find, because um, I know that constituents can conflict, and I don't know a lot about that, but do you find that something you really need to focus on when you're starting herbal medicine? Mm, yeah, so some herbs you're familiar with, like chamomile, and it sounds safe, but it can actually cause miscarriages. So that's why I don't really create things with chamomile just because what if someone forgets or shares it with a friend and they just don't know. Make sure that you're understanding the herbs fully before you go doing anything with them. And like when you're trying something new, start very slow and very small and like listen to your body and like how it's reacting to it. Because sometimes like certain herbs can react differently with different people too. And especially if you're on any prescription medication, like just stay away, just stay away in general. Like it's sad, I hate it. But honestly, that's just the best advice. That gave me another question. If someone is getting off of medication, and they want to kind of get back into making sure they heal and all the you know their body gets back to where it needs to be what is like your go-to for something like that um, well i would say like something cleansing. that's really hard because i haven't really dealt with that focusing on your gut health okay. again with yeah. that, making sure that's good before you go and start something new regimen. Yeah. You just want to take your time and like know your body first before you go and experiment with stuff. Right, yeah. right. That's good. Advice. Well, can you share where people can find you if they want to hear more from you? Yeah. I'm on Instagram at Steel Magnolia Farms, S 
Etsy. We also have an Etsy. We do have a TikTok actually, and it's the same handle at Steel Magnolia Farms SC. Um, but I'm most active on Instagram. I love the community there, and that's where you can most likely find me anytime. Yeah, anyone can check me out and click the links. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, truly a wealth of knowledge. Um, I think I could just sit and talk with her for hours <laughs> just to soak up all of the knowledge she has with uh, foraging and herbs and all of the medicinal things that they offer. So, be sure to check out her social media, which will be linked in the description of this video below. Go over there, support her in all of her adventures with what she's doing and hopefully you will learn something pick something up from her and following her as well so thank you guys all of you who have been a part of our youtube family and are just now coming to us we do appreciate that uh, what i mean by that is just for all of you who have hit subscribed we really do consider you part of our youtube family we value that we do not take that lightly we really do appreciate you so i'm gonna finish up peppers i'm on habaneros right now so beautiful love those vibrant colors but you guys continue to have a great week and be blessed